सी गुजरात गुड मॉर्निंग टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द बैलेंस पार्ट ऑफ ट्रिग्नोमेट्री एंड ग्राफिकल एनालिसिस ओके सो वेन टूडे वी विल डिस्कस ट्रिग्नोमेट्री द पीपल हु हैड नॉट कम यस्टरडे है ना दे विल बी बेनिफिटेड बिकॉज इन दिस केस वी आर सॉल्विंग द फाइंडिंग आउट द लेंथ ऑफ द साइड्स बाय यूजिंग द एंगल्स है ना नॉट नॉट यूजिंग द पाइथागोरस थ्योरम सो दिस विल बी हेल्पफुल टू द स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव कम टुडे ओके एंड देन आफ्टर व्हेन द टिग्नोमेट्री इज ओवर वील गो टू द ग्राफिकल एनालिसिस ओके सो वी स्टार्ट विद दिस फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इफ द एलिवेशन ऑफ द सन इज थर्टी डिग्री देन वॉट इज द लेंथ ऑफ द शेडो कास्ट बाय टावर ऑफ वन फिफ्टी फीट ट्राई प्लीज ट्राई we have yesterday we have discussed uh, angle of elevation and angle of depression okay suppose the sun is here okay and this is the tower 150 feet okay i put this as a b and c and the elevation of 30 elevation Angle of elevation is thirty degree. So we need to find out the shadow of the tower. This is the tower. So this is the shadow. Okay. So what we have to find here? BC. We have to find BC. Okay. So <coughs> so we have to take BC and AC. Okay. Then only we will be able to find out. BC, okay. So this is <coughs> this is tan theta, na? Tan theta is equal to AC upon BC. So your BC is AC upon tan thirty. What is tan thirty? One by one by root three. Clear? Is this clear? So AC is one fifty, and this is one by root three. Okay. So your BC is one fifty root three. And if if you want a simpler answer, then root three is equal to one point seven. Okay, so you can multiply one fifty by one point seven. You can have this. Yeah. What is that? Two fifty five. Okay. Everybody is getting two fifty five. Yes. So this is two fifty five feet. <coughs> those who have come today uh, they should know what what is the formula for sin theta cos theta okay and if you if you only know the formula for sin theta you will come to know the formula of everything else cos theta tan theta you will come to know if, if you don't know then you can uh, take the paper from me okay so i hope the, you have understood this especially the people who have come today samajh mein aaya barabar okay So next, two men on opposite sides of a TV tower of height twenty-six meter. Notice the angle of elevation. of the top of this tower to be 45 degree and 60 degree respectively find the distance in meters between the two men start
This is your TV tower, 26 meter. Okay. Two men on opposite sides of a TV tower. Okay, one this side and one this side. The elevation, angle of elevation is for one is 45 degrees, other is 60 degrees. We have to find out the distance between the two men. We have to find out AB. AB is equal to AD plus BB. We can find out AD and BB. Everybody is understanding? Huh? AD. AD is equal to tan theta is equal to CD upon AD. So AD is equal to CD tan 45 degree. Similarly, BD is equal to CD tan 60. This is 1045 is 1045 is 1. So AD is equal to 26 meter. 1060 root 3. So 26 divided by 1.7. What is that? Fifteen point two. Fifteen point two. So your AB is twenty six plus fifteen point two. So this comes to forty one point two. Next, sir. H is equal to 50 feet has a shadow of length L 50 feet at a particular instant of time. Find the angle of elevation in degrees of the sun at this point of time. Sun. Okay. Height is 50, length is also 50. E, B, 
C. How do we solve it? DB divided by BC. DB divided by BC. <coughs> we have to find out this angle. <coughs> Here, height is given, length is given. We have to find out <coughs> the angle. Okay. Just now we had solved the problem that tan theta is equal to AB upon BC. We had solved the problem just now. And now we are given that AB is also 50 and BC is also 50. Okay. So your tan theta is equal to 1. Okay. So, 1045 degree is equal to? 1. one. Okay, that, this we should know. Okay, so we know that theta is equal to 45 degree. 45. Okay. So next, the angle of elevation of the top of a building from the foot of the tower, top of the building, from the foot of the tower is 30 degree. <coughs> so this is a building, this is a tower. The angle of elevation of the top of the building from the foot of the tower is 30 degree. This is 30 degree and the angle of elevation of the top of the tower from the foot of the building is 60 degree. If the tower is 50 meter high, find the height of the building. This is tower. ST AB. What we have to find out? We have to find out AB. We have to find out AB. After reading this, the diagram is this. What we have to find out? We have to find out AB. What we will find out first? Yes. Base. First we have to find out <coughs> the base. Because base is common to both the triangle. Eh? Base is common to both the triangle. So if you take again you if you take ten theta, ten theta is equal to S T upon S B. Okay? So ten sixty. is equal to 50 upon SB. Therefore, SB is equal to 50 upon 1060. 1060 is root 3. So, this is 
50 डिवाइडेड बाय रूट थ्री फिफ्टी डिवाइडेड बाय वन पॉइंट सेवन टू पॉइंट फिफ्टी 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 डिवाइडेड बाय रूट थ्री ओके नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट ए बी तो आगे भी टेक टेन थीटा इज इक्वल टू ए बी अपॉन बी एस सो वी नो द एंगल इज थर्टी डिग्री ओके सो एंड वी ऑल्सो हैव बी एस विथ अस सो वी कैन फाइंड आउट ए बी सो दैट फॉर ए बी इज इक्वल टू बी एस इज फिफ्टी बाय रूट थ्री इंटू टेन थीटा टेन थर्टी ओके वॉट इज टेन थर्टी वन बाय थ्री सो फिफ्टी अंडर रूट थ्री इंटू वन बाय रूट थ्री बराबर तो दिस इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री What is the value? Sixteen point six. आया समझ में आया कैसे आया? नेक्स्ट सर A little boy is flying a kite. The string of the kite makes an angle of 30 degree with the ground. If the height of the kite is 24 meter, find the length in meters of the string that the boy has used. Height is at height of. 24 meter. Here is the kite. <coughs> This is 24 meter. Okay. This is the string. We have the dory. Makes an angle of 30 degree. A, B. See, what we have to find out in this? A B. Okay, what we have to find out is A B. What we are given is A C. Okay, so A C upon A B is sine theta. Sine theta is A C. Upon A B, so we have to find out A C. Is A B sine theta? A B is twenty four into sine thirty. Sine thirty is one by two. Twenty four into one by two. So this comes to twelve. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. This is AC divided by AC divided by sine theta. Sir. 
ए बी इज ए सी अपॉन साइन थीटा ना ट्वेंटी फोर अपॉन वन बाय टू है ना तो दिस कम्स टू फोर्टी एट ए बी फोर्टी एट आया समझ में ओके तो नेक्स्ट ओके सो यर वी कंप्लीट द पार्ट ऑफ टेक्नोमेट्री नाउ वी विल गो टू ग्राफिकल एनालिसिस चलो ग्राफ ग्राफिकल एनालिसिस वाला खोल लेना दूसरी पीपीटी है सर अभी जो सेव की थी अपन ने is clear to everybody okay the dots on the graph below indicate age and weight of the sap For a sample of 25 students, what percentage of these students are less than uh, 19 year old? And uh, okay, and the weight is more than say 110 pounds. Weight is more than 110 pounds. <coughs> We have to find out the percentage of students whose. Uh, Age is less than 19 years, and weight more than 110 pounds. What is the percentage? What is the percentage? Total student twenty five. Forty. Nice student. Less than nineteen years and weight. मोर देन हंड्रेड एंड टेन पाउंड हाउ मेनी आर देर हाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स आर देर एट स्टूडेंट एक का वेट हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी पाउंड भी है नहीं ना अच्छा कोई नहीं नहीं किसी का ही थे और सेवन This is nine. So percentage is. Well, all we change. Can I say nine? Nine. 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 N
ओके सो नाइन बाय ट्वेंटी फाइव इन टू हंड्रेड सो थर्टी सिक्स ओके थर्टी सिक्स परसेंट ठीक है ओके सो नेक्स्ट We are supposed to find out the average. figures tell me the figures monday 300 300 400 400 400 plus 300 plus 300 plus 200 okay plus 200 200 plus 200 divided by <coughs> divided by 5 5 okay so this comes to 1400 1400 This comes to two eighty. Two eighty. Okay. Come next. What is the what is the median quiz score of the twenty five score shown on the bar graph? Five. What is the me median quiz score of the twenty five scores? Shown on the bar graph. Median, you know, median. Midpoint. 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 Mean is average. Median is midpoint. midpoint. And what is mode? Mode. Repeated number. Uh, most frequently most repeated. Most frequently repeated number. <coughs> number. Yeah. So here you have to find out the mid midpoint. You have got twenty five scores. Okay, so you have to midpoint would be fifteen, twenty-five score, na? So your median would be the thirteenth value, thirteenth value. If you write the value in the ascending order, if you write the value of twenty-five scores in the ascending order, then your thirteenth value will would be the mean. Mm -hmm. Right? You got my point? जो मैंने बोला समझ में आया ना सी यू टू राइट द वैल्यू इन द असेंडिंग ऑर्डर इन द इंक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर ओके सो तो दूसरा आ गया दिस ओके Okay. Uh, the score, various scores are given. See how many candidates, number of students, na, and quiz score. So how many students have scored eight? Three. 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 Okay. So you write write down eight, eight, eight. This is for three students. Eight, eight, and eight. 
Then how many students score nine? Two. So again, two times nine. Nine, nine. Okay. So, how many sco students score 10? Six. Six. So, you have to write 10 six times. And then 11? Five. 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 And then 12? Nine. Nine. This is the number. Sir. So, what is the answer? 11. 11. Okay. 13 number is 11. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So, this is your median. Okay. So, next. You read this because the graph is on the other uh, slide. The graph below illustrates the number of box tops collected by four departments during a school contest. So there are four box tops. The sum of the box tops collect, collected by the two departments with the fewest box tops. Okay, two box with the fewest box tops is approximately uh, what percent of the sum of the box tops collected by the two department with the most box tops. Okay. So, percentage of two fewest box tops with the two most box tops. Got it? So, next slide.
Two minimum score is three hundred plus six hundred. Three hundred plus six hundred. And two maximum scores eighteen hundred. So, percentage of few of stops Markup shows how many motorbikes were sold by salesmen over a period of time. So we have to find out motorbike sold by the salesman per day. Bikes per day. I don't know. It's total. See, that is not the. See on the y-axis. It is not the number of bikes uh, that is sold. It is the frequency. Okay, so what you understand from these graphs, for example, motorbike sold per day. Motorbike sold per day. If you, if you take the third one, that is two bikes sold per day. The frequency of selling two bikes per day is three. For the three times he has sold two bikes per day. What my point? That is frequency. So, <coughs> first we, you have to find out the total number of bikes sold. Total number of bikes sold. Thirty-six. 
Let us check somebody else has got some other answer. Or give you five. You have understood this? See, I have given you an example. See, if we take the third one, two bikes sold per day. The frequency of selling. But he has sold two bikes per day three times. The frequency is three. He has sold zero bikes. Twice it has happened that zero bikes were sold. Okay, the frequency of selling zero bike is two. So first we have to find out the total, the answer, actually the, the question is how many bikes the salesman has sold. See, if you take bikes sold per day, are you coming to some conclusion? Bikes sold per day, what is the frequency of that? Suppose this is column A and this is column B, then total bikes sold is A into B. We will check. See, 0 and 2. Then 1 and 4. Then 2 and 3. Then 3 and 6. 4 and 3. 5 and 2. two. So if we multiply first is 0, second is 4, third is 6, 18, 12, 10. So what is the total? 15. Okay, so so you, you have to look at the graph carefully. <coughs> Next, sir. Now, these values are given to us, and we have to draw a graph. We have solved JRF papers in that the options were given as a graph. Huh? So we have to select which is the right graph. So actually options are not given here, but we have to draw the graph, how the graph would look like if these values are there. You tell me, I'll draw the graph. First you try, then let us see how the graph would look like. I, I, I have drawn these two lines. And wh on what axis I should write what? Tell me. X axis time. X axis time. Okay, I write your time. T. Okay. And of course, depth of nose, centimeter, na? Mm. Time marker let happen. One, two, three, four, and this is five. Say. And depth of two, it is up to twenty. Say five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Is that okay? Now the graph would look like? like Somebody has drawn it this way. Okay? 
Hmm. 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 No. At uh, zero value of the x-axis, there will be like pi hmm. on y axis. Okay. So, okay. So the starting point would be this. Hmm. Okay. And see if I take all the points, actual points. 0 and 5, then what we have? 1 and 8. 1 and 8. So I'm it like this. Then 2 and 11. 2 and 11. Yeah? 3 and 14. 3 and 14. Would be somewhere here. 4 and 17. And 5 and, sorry, 4 and 17 here. 5 and 20. Okay, so this would be something like this. See? So graph would look like this. So next. at the right indicates the time taken by five people to travel various distances on average which person traveled the fastest in the Everybody agrees? What is the speed of Imran? Any other view? What? Uh, Imran. Okay, what is the speed of Imran? 5 km per 20 minutes. 5 km per 20 minutes is not speed. <laughs> if we have to find out the speed in unit. We have to say if you have to find out, it means kilometers per minute. Okay. Kilometers per hour. Oh, whatever it is. Here, here, here it is kilometers and minutes. So if you find out in kilometers per minute, but it has to be unit minute. It cannot be 5 kilometers per 20 minutes. Okay, that is what I am saying. It is number of kilometers per minute. What is the speed? 1 kilometer by 4 minutes. You cannot have 1 kilometer by 4 minutes. Huh? Per minute, per minute. Four See, we, we, we call the speed as if you call the speed as 60, the speed of the car is 60, it means 60 kilometers per hour. Okay. And if you want to indicate this speed in minute, okay, then 1 kilometer per minute. 1 kilometer per minute. So, we will get the speed in per minute or per hour or per second. The speed of light is? 25 kilometer per minute. Point 0.25. The speed of light. Oh, sorry, light. <laughs> 
Chile, kilómetro para sacar, ¿no? Aproximadamente. Yeah. ¿Cuál es la speed de Imran? 0.25 kilómetros por minuto. 0.25 kilómetros por minuto, ¿no? 0.25 kilómetros por minuto, ¿no? Es decir, like 5 kilómetros en 20 minutos, ¿no? ¿Aptan mola, no? So what is 5 by 20 is 1 by 4, ¿no? This is 1 by 4. So this is 0.25. So this will be <coughs> kilometers per minute. And what is so kilometers per hour of Imran? The speed of Imran in kilometers per hour? 160. 0.25 to 60. Okay, you tell me the answer. Convert this into kilometers per hour. Pardon? डिनोमिनेटर बाय 60. Okay. If you multiply the denominator by 60, you have to multiply the numerator by also 60. Okay. So if you multiply this by 60, okay. So what what you are getting is 15 kilometer per 60 minutes. Okay. So this is 15 kilometers. Per hour. Okay. So here we are completing our part of graphical analysis. I hope today also you must have learned something. You must have gained some knowledge which will be useful to you in your exams. Okay. Thank you. Good job.